You ready? Let's do it. <laughs> I don't think white. we could be any more ready. <laughs> it's like the reverse Oreo here. <laughs> <laughs> Two white dudes. <laughs> this. What's going on, everybody? Cigar Titan here once again with my good friend, Brother Stogie. Say hello to the people. What up, Cigar fam? And we are in, well, you're in the middle of a reverse Oreo here. What we, do we got going on in Stogie? You know, today? hey, so don't get it confused. I'm not being interviewed, okay? This is, this is, this is my damn show, too, all right? But these tall fuckers, all right? I decided to sit in the middle. But, hey, we got a special guest up in the house. Y'all see who it is. Our brother, Kyle from Dad Smoking Cigars, are joining the Cigar Titans. In this video. What is up guys? Thanks for having me guys. Absolutely. Excited to be here. We're happy to have you. You guys ready to get started? Any more ready, man. I don't, I don't know if I could be any more ready. All right. <laughs> Let's rock. Yo, so welcome back, Cigar Fam. So before we get into what we gonna get into today, so he knew on the set, so he already lit up. So you know, we don't light up until- <laughs> Jump the gun. You know what I'm saying? So we don't light up until, you know, we ready to go. So right. what are we smoking on, y'all? I have a Casa Cuevas La Mandaria. What about you? I got a Casa Cuevas Reserva. Oh. Look at that. Torpedo! <laughs> <laughs> and I'm smoking a Casa Cuevas Reserva Natural. Yeah, yeah so. we'll light this bad boy up. We got drinks in our glasses. Got cigar tight with a little bit of Moscow mule up in there. And a big shout out to Casa Cuevas and Christine for providing the cigars uh, for today's video. Thank AKA Smokey Affair on yes. Instagram. So we figured we'd make it fun today. Um, kind of like a, how do we come back from that nice heartfelt <laughs> Father's Day, video. Brother Stogie balling at the damn <laughs> tears video. You got me all misty eyed, dude. Right, you got man. Me crazy My DM was full of, bruh, I'm at work crying. Like, what did you, you do that for? I, I didn't mean to, all right? So I tried to hold together, but it couldn't. It's my kids and my family, damn it. So, so what? Shit. Hey, if you haven't watched the video yet, hey, go to our Cigar Titan YouTube channel and watch the video. It's a good one. Father's Day is every day, damn it, all right? Mm. So, today we are doing having a little fun today. So we're gonna go over our top celebrity movies, celebrity that has like cigars mixed up in it. That's what we're talking about today. A little bit of information on boutique cigars versus heritage cigars. So, so it's, a, it's a mixed episode, I think. It is. It is. We, we, do, we do all kind of stuff today, <laughs> bro. <laughs> So who wants to go first? You know what? You're the guest. We're gonna all let right. you go first. I was, um, I was kind of, I had a feeling you might say that. So all right, <laughs> I'm on the spot. So uh, we were talking about it earlier and you know, I think some of the more typical, like well-known celebrities who smoke cigars come to mind, stuff like that. You think about Arnold Schwarzenegger and stuff That's like right. that. And, um, but uh, my, the two celebrities that I wanted to kind of focus in on, one is very well known, the other one's kind of lesser known, so I'll focus on him first, and that's Martin Cove. And anybody who watches the Karate Kid movies or watches Cobra Kai on YouTube, now on Netflix, right. mm -hmm. uh, Martin Cove plays uh, John Kreese, the original Cobra Kai sensei, you know, uh, no mercy. Strike fast, strike hard, no mercy. The asshole. <laughs> so, yeah, the asshole. For better word. The, the, the grade A prick who, you know, <laughs> likes to watch kids uh, get into, you know, violent fist fights and all that kind of stuff while throwing in a proverb here or there. Right. You know? But um, no, he's actually a really great guy. I've you know, interacted with him a little bit on Instagram, and, you know, he really loves his fans and then big time cigar smoker. I'm not sure, but I think he strictly smokes Cubans. He likes Cubans a lot. He just traveled there and he was showing everybody how he's smoking a cigar, saying he wishes we were there with him. Like, right. I wish I was I there. I wish too. I was in Cuba too. <laughs> yeah, right? It's coming soon, but it's right? our time. We're going to be exactly. in Cuba. So, no, I, I, I really like him a lot. He's got a charisma about him that, you know, I appreciate, you know, complete polar opposite of his character in right. The Karate Kid. So, definitely can appreciate that. Uh, the other cigar celebrity, you know, celebrity that smokes cigars that I have enjoyed his movies for years. And I remember being six years old. Now, keep that in mind, six years old and watching this movie, one of the most violent action flicks <laughs> out there, Rambo, First Blood Part yeah, Two. Yeah, buddy. So I'm talking about Sylvester Stallone, obviously. And uh, we can forgive the fact that I know for a while he smoked Gurkhas, mm -hmm. so I can forgive him of that. <laughs> no, com no comment. No We're not com perfect. <laughs> not on this channel. Perfect. Nope. No comment. So, 
No, it's all good, but he's he's an avid cigar smoker, and I think he's one of the hardest working men in Hollywood, writing so much of his own films, producing, directing them. I mean, he's got a big time family man, oh, so yeah. I can definitely appreciate that. And so, definitely enjoy Sylvester Stallone's work. Appreciate the fact that he smokes cigars and all of that good stuff. But uh, the last, the, the, the film that I want to focus in on where there's cigar smoking going on is, is actually a Schwarzenegger flick, Last Action Hero. And there's a scene where he's basically threatening slash poking fun at a villain in the movie. The mm. dude, with, if anybody's seen the movie, the dude with the glass eye, the British guy, Charles Dance, he's been in Game he's of also, Thrones. Yep. Game, Game of Thrones. Thrones, he's been in a couple of other really big time movies, really great actor. And this is one of the most hammy picks that I've ever seen in my entire <laughs> life. Schwarzenegger poking fun at himself. I mean, you can't think of anything better. And he says to the, and I'm gonna try and do my best impression, so I'm gonna put myself out there. Right? Oh, yeah. oh so you're the doing, guy, impre doing the impressions guy, now. The guy says, he says, you know, he's gonna sick the attack dogs on him at a snap of his fingers. Any questions? And Arles is like, yeah, two. Why am I wasting my time with a putz like you when I could be doing something more dangerous, like rearranging my sock? <laughs> two. How can you snap your fingers if I rip off both your thumbs? <laughs> That's one of my favorite. That's pretty good. I Facts. try. I try. Facts. <laughs> That's one of my favorite movie moments where a dude just happens to be smoking a cigar, saying one of the corniest lines possible. But that's just, you know, B movie action flicks for you. 100%. Right. So, from the Stogie. So I tried to mix mine up. I wanted to throw a SOTL out there. So I did a little bit of research to make sure that she actually smoked cigars. And there's actually a lot of articles out there and a lot of pictures of her smoking cigars. So this is like my favorite, right? So if I ever met her, like in person, <laughs> hey, I hope she, I'm gonna tag her in my Instagram in case she sees the video. She might give me a little shout out, but hey. J-Lo, Jennifer Lopez. She oh. is a sister of the leaf. She enjoys mm -hmm. smoking cigars and have mercy. Have mercy. You know, the last, was it the last Super Bowl show? She was on there with Shakira. Sh Shakira. We were all hanging out the same place when that was Yeah, going we were on. all at the Cool Ever Lounge at that time. Man, I, I must have enjoyed that halftime show better than the game. <laughs> I think most people did. Have, have I think mercy. People. So, I'm gonna I'm I'm group my other two. Okay. okay. I'm gonna group my other two, because if I had to, let's see, mix and like clay, mix my personality and my voiceovers. <laughs> it, would, it would be from these two men right here. So both Samuel L. Jackson. Oh yeah. And no other than Morgan Freeman himself. Oh boy. So you're talking about some of the greatest movies of all time have been done by these two men. Some of the best voiceovers have been done by these two men. And I look up to them in the entertainment world as like my idols. Hey yo, so we, we would do something special because he, the off scene, off camera, he doing shit that he ain't supposed to be doing. So hey, we gonna let <laughs> Dad smoke a cigar, set up cigar type. <laughs> Go ahead, bro. <laughs> All right, dude, you're up. <laughs> All right, so so my uh, my top celebrities, uh, you know, people that I remember watching when I was growing up. Uh, one particular person. Uh, that sticks out to me, and he's actually smoked several cigars in you know different movies, and that was Clint Eastwood. Oh yeah, you know legend, uh, legend, you know in his you know in his craft, and uh, Clint Eastwood, good, bad, and the ugly, you know Dirty Harry, um, he's a legitimate cigar smoking guy. Uh, so I enjoyed watching those films and the westerns and stuff like that. My dad got me into that. Uh, when we were younger, he was a huge Clint Eastwood, John Wayne fan, and we'd watch these shows growing up and everything. And so I really, you know, I, I remember and associate. Uh, Isn't that guy with the famous quote, do you feel lucky, punk? You could ask yourself a question. Do I feel lucky? Well, do you, punk? That's yep. him. That's him. Well, that's yep. the one. Do you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm mean, a little bit of Clint Eastwood. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, and then, you know, my second uh, celebrity, I, I don't know, I can't uh, recall if there's any movies in particular uh, where he was, I'm sure there is movies where he's smoking cigars, uh, but that's Jack Nicholson. He's another oh, yeah. huge uh, cigar smoker. Um, and, uh, you know, Jack Nicholson, 
famous for so many different, oh, you know, man. great Hardcore movies. Laker fan, baby, L.A. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. You know, The Shining and all these great movies that Jack Nicholson has done. Uh, One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest, all these movies mm -hmm. that he's done over Did he play the Joker? Was he the Joker? He played the Joker in that. Come on, man. Don't, don't, don't leave yeah. the Joker out. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So uh, actually my number one cigar smoker too is Arnold Schwarzenegger. You know, I am a huge, huge Arnold Schwarzenegger. Arnold <laughs> Schwarzenegger fan. It's still hard to say after yep. 40 years of him being in this right. country. <laughs> you know, I, I have followed his career through bodybuilding, um, all the way through his acting, his political career. Uh, and Arnold Schwarzenegger is by far, you know, in my mind, one of the top celebrity cigar smokers. You know, I, I can think of, you know, watching him in Predator mm. when he's on the copter, you know, the helicopter in the beginning of the film and he's being flown into the jungle and he's sitting there and he's smoking his stogie and he's got his glasses on and then the whole... Dylan! You son of a bitch. Dylan, you son of a bitch. And then they the best freaking handshake in movie history yep. by far. The handshake that shook the world. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, so my number one top celebrity would definitely be Arnold Schwarzenegger. So as we wind everything down, Kyle, where can everybody find you? Well, I am on Instagram, dads underscore smoking underscore cigars. And uh, we do have a YouTube channel, just Dad Smoking Cigars. And uh, those are the main places you can find us. We're also on Facebook, or I'm also on Facebook. Uh, for a long time, it was, I was working with a really good friend of mine um, who I've known for, as he puts it a lot of times, uh, too long. <laughs> and I'm sure you guys know exactly how that works. Yep. So having known each other for many, many years. Um, Tim Long, good friend of mine. I've known him since I was in high school and uh, we did it together for a long time. And then just, you know, the way things were moving along. Um, Things started shifting and now he's doing his own uh, channel uh, called Down to the Nub. He also has his own uh, vlog channel where he reviews cigars and does, you know, vlogs on his many adventures or misadventures, depending on how you look at it. But uh, Tim's a good guy. I've known him a really long time and we were doing it together. But uh, now we're just, you know, it's just me doing Dad Smoking Cigars and, uh, you know, him and I are still good friends. And awesome. uh, But yeah, mainly YouTube and Instagram is where you can find me. And uh, I put out a, usually a review every week. I'm starting to put do different videos. I do whiskey reviews, cigar reviews, and any random crazy ideas that come into my head. And I'm um, you know, learning a lot from these guys and some of their format as well, because I, I like the way they do videos and stuff like that. It's, it's a lot of fun, and, and that's what it's all about. It's we warned them. It gets real, it <laughs> yeah. gets real up in yeah. here. And it's, it's, <laughs> it's been real, and it's been awesome. So I'm having a great time hanging with these guys. But uh, yeah, find me on YouTube um, and on uh, Instagram. And uh, yeah, man, that's pretty much where I'm at most of the time. So, Brother Stogie, what <laughs> should the people do? Hey, so first off, this is a community show. You know what I'm saying? We love our people. It's all about the community of the Cigar Society. So if you're not following Cal at Dad's, hey, don't tell me what to do. <laughs> <laughs> at Dad Smoking Cigars, hey, go get this man a follow. He does, he's a very cool dude. He, he knows his stuff. He <laughs> knows you. cigars. So if you're looking for more information, go hit him up. Secondly, thank you. If you're new to our channel, hit the subscribe button, all right? If you enjoyed this video, because I know you did, if you liked it already, hit that bell so you get a new notification every time we post a new video. And as always, baby, live how you smoke, smoke how you live. And that's smooth, baby. Take care, everybody. <laughs> oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. So one second, one second. Thank you, thank you. So, Brother Stubby, there was one more thing before we go. Actually, this is the first ever giveaway. We told you it was coming. The Woo. Cigar Titans have ever done. What Yo, do they gotta do? So check this out. Hey, for 4th of July, we wanna do a giveaway from the Cigar Titans channel to our subscribers, but bring on the new subscribers. Okay, subscribe, subscribe to our channel. Press that button, all right? And what's gonna happen is we'll do a random drawing for our YouTube subscribers and we'll be giving away, giveaway. Free, right? Yes. People, are, people like free. I think that's what giving away means. Shut up. All right. <laughs> one, one Give stick away. from the whole Give line away. of the Casa Cueva cigar. Away. Yeah, giveaway, damn it. All right. Just want to make sure. Okay, so it. one stick from the whole Casa Cueva line as a sampler pack. Boom. Randomly chosen to our YouTube subscribers. Six sticks. We're Six sticks. Told. So <laughs> one of each. I'm sorry. So I, don't, don't, don't expect South twelve. Episode it's in six. My head, but <laughs> Uh, this contest is only going to be open to those uh, in the U.S. Unfortunately, we can't do any international 
um, shipping right now. That will come in the future, but this particular contest is going to be domestic in the U.S. Yeah, so please, we, we, we appreciate the love to the Cigar Titans channel, and we appreciate our subscribers. Hey, if you're watching and you just passing by, uh, come back, <laughs> hit that button, all right? Maybe come some special coming to you, all right? All right, are, are we good now? Yeah. Good? No other surprises? No, I don't think Not so. Not yet? I don't think Not so. <laughs> but there are more to come. Take care, everybody. See you guys later.